Welcome to Indian Circle, and the story is A Butterfly is Patient. Look at all of those caterpillars, the larva stage of a butterfly's life. They are so colorful and different. Pretty amazing. A butterfly is patient. A butterfly is patient. It begins as an egg beneath an umbrella of leaves, protected from the rain, hidden from creatures that might harm it, until the caterpillar inside chews free from its egg casing, tiny, wingless, and hungry to grow. A butterfly is creative. A caterpillar feeds on leaves, eating so much that it must molt or shed its skin many times. It can grow up to 30,000 times larger than it was when it took its first bite. Once a caterpillar has eaten all that it needs, it creates a protective covering called a chrysalis. Curled inside the chrysalis, it grows its wings. Now it is time for metamorphosis the changing from one form to another. A butterfly is helpful. Butterflies, like bees, help pollinate plants so that they can reproduce or make seeds. A butterfly flits from flower to flower, sipping nectar. Tiny grains of pollen cling to its body and then fall away into another flower. Seeds are only produced when Pollen is transferred between the flowers of the same species. This is called pollination. A butterfly is protective. Butterflies use their wings to protect themselves from predators, such as hungry birds, lizards, or other insects. Some butterflies have markings on their wings called eye spots. Scientists do not know what they're used for, perhaps to scare away predators or attract mates. Wings can help butterflies camouflage or hide themselves in the environment. One kind of butterfly, the peacock butterfly, makes a hissing sound by rubbing its wings together when it is alarmed. A butterfly is poisonous. Warning colors of some butterflies' wings are yellow, red, oranges, whites, and blacks. They tell predators that they are poisonous or at least bad tasting. Monarchs and pipe vine swallowtails eat poisonous plants as caterpillars so that as they become, they become a poisonous adult. Birds and other insects have learned not to eat them. Butterfly is spectacular. Wow. Look at all of those colors. A butterfly is thirsty. To find flowers, butterflies smell the air with their antenna. They taste with their feet, but sip nectar, the sweet liquid produced by many flowers with a proboscis, a tongue that coils and uncoils. Some butterflies get their nourishment from rotting fruit or minerals. Often a kaleidoscope of butterflies gather as a puddle club in mud near a pond or a lake to drink water rich in salts and minerals. A butterfly is big and tiny. <laughs> the rare Queen Alexandra birdwing is the largest butterfly in the world with wings that can span up to one foot. It lives in the rainforest of northern Papua New Guinea. 
the smallest is rarely seen. An Asian, excuse me, an Asian small blue found in Afghanistan with a wingspan of less than one third of an inch, about the length of a grain of sand. Right there. A butterfly is scaly. A rainbow of shiny powdery scales cover the wings of a butterfly. Scales stacked like shingles on a roof. Without scales, the wings would be as transparent as the wings of a bee or a dragonfly. The color, patterns, and shapes of a butterfly wings have a purpose. Some use their pattern and color to attract mates. In places where the climate is cool, Dark scales absorb heat from the sun, warming the butterfly's flight muscles. Butterflies are cold-blooded and must have a body temperature of 86 degrees to fly. A butterfly is not a moth. Butterflies and moths belong to the same family of insects called Lepidopterus, which means scaly wing, excuse me, scaly wing. They are the only insect with scaly wings, but there are differences between them. Moths appeared on Earth between 100 and 190 million years ago. But butterflies 40, only showed up 40 million years ago during the Cretaceous period when flowering plants and the nectar most butterflies need to survive evolved. Nearly every kind of butterfly flies during the day, while most moths fly at night. A moth spins a cocoon made of silk, while a butterfly wraps itself in a chrysalis or an exoskeleton made from its skin. A butterfly is a traveler. Most butterflies, such as the red admiral, or the common buckeye, migrate short distances to find a warmer place. But some, like the monarch, travel far. Although monarchs weigh only as much as a few rose petals, they can fly almost 30,000 miles from Canada to their winter home in Mexico at a rate of 20 miles per hour. Glider pilots have reported seeing monarchs flying at an altitude of 11,000 feet, higher than some clouds. A butterfly is magical. Monarchs gather in huge numbers in the forests of central Mexico, waiting for spring. Then they fly north to the milkweed plants in North America where they lay their eggs. And now it is time again for their metamorphosis. A butterfly is patient. The egg hatches. The caterpillar emerges, feasting on leaves before it wraps itself into its warm, protective chrysalis, patiently waiting. To soar. Wow. Look at those butterflies. One of the things I really enjoy about this book is that this leaf page, and let's see if I can find it, the leaf page in the front. These caterpillars are these butterflies and it's really fun to look at a caterpillar over here and find the butterfly it becomes over here. Maybe someday you'll get to pick this one out of at the library and take a long time looking at it. 
I have enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me in the story of Butterfly is Patient. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>